So let's begin by organizing the data in this problem in the form of a table. So first we're going to write the outcomes. There's really only two outcomes that we need to be concerned with. Either she wins the game or she loses. Now the next thing we need to concern ourselves with is the value of each outcome. If she wins the game, she receives $500. If she loses the game, well, the cost of play is 100 so she's going to lose $100. The next thing is the probability of each outcome. The probability of Lisa winning the game is 20% according to the problem. Based on that, what is the probability that she's going to lose? Well, we know that the maximum probability is 100%. So there's a 20% chance that she's going to win the game. There's an 80% chance that she will lose the game since there's only two outcomes. So now we have enough information to calculate the expected value for winning this game. So this is going to be number one, and this is number two. So x1 is the value of winning the game. That's going to be $500. p1 is the probability of winning. So we need to convert the percentage into a decimal. To convert percent to a decimal, divide by 100, or you can move the decimal point two units to the left. So 20% as a decimal is 0 0.20. Now x2 is the value of losing the game. In this case, that is negative 100. P2 is the probability of losing, which is 80% or 0 0.80. Now, 500 times 0.20, that is 100. And negative 100 times 0.80 is negative 80. So the expected value of winning a game on average is twenty dollars so on average if she continues to play this game she can earn twenty dollars per game now how much would she expect to win let's say if she were to play ten games well if she can average twenty dollars per game then ten games would at this rate give her an expected earnings of two hundred dollars if she were to play 100 games based on uh, this average earnings, she would expect to have a total of 2000 at that point. And so that's how you can calculate expected value for winning a single game. And then you could use that to estimate what your total earnings will be for playing a certain number of games. Now let's work on another example problem. Company XYZ generates a profit of $40 for each laptop that they sell. The company loses $500 for every laptop that is returned due to some defect. If three out of every laptops, or let me say that again, if three out of every 100 laptops that they produce is defective, what is the expected value of profit per laptop? Well, let's write down what we know. So in this problem, similar to the last one, there's only two outcomes that we need to be concerned with. Either the company makes a working laptop or a defective one. So let's say if they generate a working laptop, that's a win for them. And if they make a defective laptop, that's basically a loss for them. So the value of making a laptop that is functioning properly is $40. That's how much they're going to profit for each properly working laptop that they sell. Now, if they make a defective laptop, they're going to lose $500. So that's a huge loss. It takes a lot of money to make a laptop. And now the probability of making a working laptop 
Well, let's find the probability of making a defective laptop. Three out of every 100 laptops that they produce is defective. So that means that there's a 3% chance of making a defective laptop, which means there's a 97% chance of making a laptop that is working properly. So with this information, we can calculate the expected value of profit for each laptop. So using the same formula, x1 p1 plus x2 p2, it's going to be $40 for making a laptop that works properly times the probability of making such a laptop, which is 0.97, and then plus x2, which is negative 500, times the probability of making a defective laptop, which is 0 0.03. So 4 times point, I mean 40 times 0 0.97, that is 38.8. And negative 500 times 0 0.03 is negative 15. Subtracting the two numbers, we get 23.8. So the expected value of profit per laptop is $23.80. So this means that for every laptop that they sell, the expected profit is $23.80. So if they were to sell 100 laptops, they can expect a profit of 23.80 times 100 or $2,380. But the answer that we're looking for in this video, the expected value of profit per one laptop is $23.80. So now you know how to calculate the expected value in a, a variety of different situations. Thanks for watching.